Hey, what's going on everybody in this video we are talking about the NBA first playoff games game one of series one for Saturday so we got some early games and I'm not going to cover the early game in this so if you guys are coming after the first game started you're in luck I'm not going to go give my picks for that game so we can have this video play out a little longer so we're going to cover the last three games on Saturday for this one. If you guys are new here, also join up in the Discord for free. It'll be linked down below. I post more of my betting picks in here. Also just started prop voting here. So Stephen Curry in the late game, let me know what you think over or under in the Discord on 29 and a half points just by reacting to one of these. Just posted this. Also, I'll post my long shot parlays in here. And we got people posting their big hits for sports betting and player props. So definitely get in the Discord. Now let's get back to prize picks here. So the first game I want to target here is going to be that Hawks game. And Hawks-Celtics, definitely a tough matchup. And the thing I'm looking at here is going to be DeAndre Hunter. He was in foul trouble in their play-in game, so didn't play that much. And I think the props are kind of not taking that into account. So what I could see happening here is DeAndre Hunter playing more than just 23 minutes that he played in the play-in, getting you know 30 plus minutes, and Sadiq Bey and Bogdanovich having their minutes cut a little, and maybe even Bey having his cut a lot more down from 33. If we come look at the box score here, we could see Hunter played 23 but had five fouls, was in foul trouble a lot of the game. So Bey played 33 minutes. I think he gets cut below 30. And maybe Bogdanovich gets cuts a little. So what I'm looking at here is going to be DeAndre Hunter. You know, he got six rebounds in 23 minutes. I think he can definitely hit four or more in this. So you can see in the last five games, he's gotten four or more in five, four of them. And covered this in three of them. So I do like DeAndre Hunter here. I think he's going to play a lot more minutes in this game for his length and ability to guard Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown. And then we could come over to Sadiq Bay and look at his rebounds, which is at four and a half, which is pretty high, for, you know, for a guy in his last five games, hasn't gotten five rebounds. And, you know, I project him for under 30 in this. So looking at Bay on the under of four and a half rebounds, playing into the narrative here that Hunter's going to play more minutes in this game than Bay, which was not the case in the last game. So now moving on to the next game, we got Knicks versus the Cavs for this one. I am thinking that Julius Randle is going to play. He's had a long time to rest. And, you know, the playoffs are starting here. I think he's going to play. So that's going to cut into the usage here for R.J. Barrett. Jalen Brunson already has a ton of usage. It <laughs> cuts away from Barrett. And Barrett needs 19 for his points. So I'm not super... Into this one here, 19 seems like a lot for R.J. Barrett, especially against Cleveland, who people forget has one of the best defenses in the NBA. I think that R.J. Barrett can just get absolutely shut down in this game by, you know, Karis LeVert or Isaac Okoro, who is ever out there on the wing, I think can shut down R.J. Barrett. So I like him. Actually, sorry, on the under. I don't know why I clicked on the over there. And then the other play from this game is going to be Evan Mobley. And Mobley, his points prop right now is at 15. And we could maybe even see this drop to 14 and a half. But I like the under on Evan Mobley here at 15 on the points. And this is because Jared Allen's coming back. And Knicks, tough matchup themselves. But without Jared Allen, Evan Mobley's usage just goes way up. And we can see that here on StatMuse. So Evan Mobley with Jared Allen playing, 15.4 points per game. If we go to without him playing, his usage uh, goes up, you know, by a full point. And also you'll notice his rebounds almost went up by a full rebound as well. These numbers are inflated, though, 15 and 16 points per game because that doesn't take into account. A lot of these games were without Donovan Mitchell, so his points per game were higher without Mitchell. So actually on Mobley, I like the under. I like a lot of unders in this game. I think that the points total is too high at like 223, I think is what it's at. It seems too high to me. 
So then moving on to the last game, that one bet here for Steph Curry, 29 and a half. Let me know what you think about that over in the Discord just by reacting with one of these emojis here and we can get a good idea of what the community is thinking on this one. But for me in this game, I like Harrison Barnes and I think just the Kings, you know, haven't been in the playoffs in so long and have a pretty young team here. I think that the veteran in the starting lineup who averaged 15 points a game and a few threes per game is going to try to take over and lead them to a win in this first game at home. So for that reason, I'm taking Harrison Barnes over on his threes. I think he's going to be a big scoring threat in this game for the Kings, you know, that veteran when they really need him. So that's going to be my five picks. Also, if you guys want to watch live games, I stream here on Playback TV. You can actually watch live games when you connect your league pass or cable provider, and you can watch live games and chat with each other in here. So follow me on Playback as well. That'll be linked down in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Join up in the Discord. A little recap here. DeAndre Hunter over four rebounds. Sadiq Bay under that four and a half rebounds. RJ Barrett less than 18 and a half points. Mobley under 15 points. And Harrison Barnes going to hit two threes. Thank you guys for watching this. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.